I'm Chanel and I'm a real estate investor and a real estate agent. I'm Joe Hartnett and I'm a real estate investor, part of the DC Real. Um, it's a 800, roughly 800 square foot property. It's a three bed, one bath. Um, it's part of the Randall Heights subdivision in Southeast DC. Okay. And we learned about the property through the MLS and uh, we wrote an offer on the property. Um, the original one got rejected and um, with the negotiation skills of our realtor, we were able to get the prices $10,000 higher than what we originally offered, which at first the sellers said there's no way that they would ever make it work, but it came through, so. Hmm. And the uh, property just recently got bought out and should be getting rehabbed pretty soon. The original offer was for $109,000 on the property, and they were asking for 225, which they eventually dropped to 179. So we said 109, they declined that, said there's no way. So, I wrote back uh, 119.5, seven day inspection, and uh, Jesse was able to make that work. I mean, it was really as simple as that. He's, um, he's an interesting guy. He definitely doesn't make it easy for us, but he gives us you know, good advice so that we can make good decisions on our own. He really wants us to learn how to do the business. So when we tell him a number, it's the number we come up with, it's not the number he comes up with. So. Uh, he's a good realtor. He really has our back, but he wants us to do it on our own. In this deal, I know for a fact his negotiation skills came into play, and uh, so that definitely like helped us out. But you know, as long as he's able to provide us with the CMA, which he does, and the right tools, we were able to figure it out. You know, out. yeah, exactly, move forward with the deal. Um, but he's, I mean, he's very professional, straightforward, and the reason why we like Jesse so much is that we we've already learned so much about the uh, the rules that are involved and and the legal way of doing things. You know. Some people in this business, they want to you know, hit the gray areas and go stuff outside the boundaries, but... He's definitely helped us, yeah. guide us in the right direction as From far attending as the concerned. deal maker workshop on Tuesdays or um, the team meetings, or even just calling him or um, emailing. Like he's, he's been there the whole time to help us to uh, learn exactly what we needed to get this deal done. Jesse was very professional. Uh, straightforward. Yeah, very straightforward. Mm -hmm. um, didn't beat around the bush, so... Be, but you know that kept us on track. It didn't keep you know. It didn't let us like stray away. Um, he's very knowledgeable. He knows what he's doing. He knows what he's talking about. He gives really good advice. Yeah. But he um, he lets you do your own thing so that you can actually learn from it yourself. Yeah. So he's not like babying you, but he's also not gonna leave you alone. And Jesse has techniques to get things done and mm -hmm. uh, things that you say that'll hopefully in the end. Uh, turn everything into your favor, you know? So different ways to, to deal with sellers. If for instance, you do come across a seller on the street and that's not using a realtor and you need to act on your own, you know, what to always have on you, have contracts in your car at all times. There's a lot of things that he teaches that has not only benefited us, but I know it's benefited other people we've spoken to at the RIA and outside of the RIA. That, um, so, yeah. and they've been very successful. Well, the deal itself, the total profit was 22,500. 22, Probably, uh, you know, maybe five hours, five, five to ten hours. Let's just, 10. let's just go with ten. Yeah, that's a yeah. safer number. Twenty-two hundred an hour. Yeah. Two thousand fifty dollars an hour. Or something. Especially when we first started, we used that and we hit the ground running, which is why we had those properties under contract. But um, I mean, after that, we just kept using like what we learned from the course, and yeah. then we were able to get this one under contract. And this was through the phase one, obviously. This mm -hmm. was what well, we had done some phase two as well, which we had on, we had one deal under contract, but that was one of the ones that fell through. But you know, phase two is definitely where the bigger checks come from, but this proves that you can, you can still, still get, get big checks yeah. from phase one. <laughs> Compared to the national ones, he's more in tune with what's, with what's going on in our area. So it's a little easier to, I guess, follow his advice because the national ones are talking on a broader scale and some of the things they actually tell you to do are not legal to do in our area. So it's interesting when they tell you to do something and then when you hear it from like Sherman or somebody from the RIA, they're like, um, you actually can't do that because you will go to jail. Right, there's different laws. <laughs> different, different laws, yeah. yeah. It was def I mean, we, it, they were definitely helpful and it got our footing grounded, but yeah. um, coming to DC RIA, it just added on top of that knowledge. And now, you know, we do have materials to where if we do want to invest out of state, you know, a lot of this stuff will come in handy. Mm -hmm. And even some of their contracts they have have come in handy, but then Sherman has had his whole list of contracts, which has been like almost okay. endless, it seems like, for every type of real estate situation you can find yourself being in. So it's it's been an extreme benefit attending the DC RIA and networking also with the other people that attend it. Yeah. 
it would not have been this easy, no. especially because we would have had to pretty much do it on our own. And the national gurus are not as easy to get a hold of. Yeah, we, we had a mentor for about 10 weeks, but he can only do so much from being California. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we can talk to him yeah. or we can... We can email him, yeah. it's hard to call him. We had a specific time to call him. Exactly. And outside of that, it was really hard to get a hold of him. Well, one, it helped us find potential buyers uh, for the deal. One, we actually had lined up, but he fell through. But then uh, Jesse's son, was at, um, who's also named Jesse, he was able to come through and find a buyer for us. And then he was able to you know, make some profit from that as well, off the deal. Real Investors is really, um, they're helpful as well. Um, it, it's a good networking tool. It's a good way to meet people, meet people in all industries of, of real estate. And agents, contractors, all kind of professionals. Um, I think they're really helpful in that respect. Exactly, and also the different courses that they, they have come with, all the different classes, I guess you could say. Like there's a marketing class, there's a, the rehabbing class that Stephanie teaches. All of those are extremely beneficial, and I know that we plan on taking some in the near future, especially once we make more money. Um, and especially, especially once, because we do want to get into rehabbing eventually. Mm -hmm. So Stephanie's class would be perfect for that. Yeah. Thank you to Real Investors, um, Jesse, Sherman, you guys have been super helpful throughout this whole process. We're really excited that we were able to get our first deal done and closed um, and we were able to make some money off of it. Yeah, very happy. Thank you so much.